His latest exhibition of contemporary art is a collaboration with Indian miniaturist painters from Rajasthan. It's being showcased here in London at the Blaine Southern Gallery. Uh, Francesco Clemente, welcome to Impact. Thank you. It's good to meet you. Uh, tell us what first drew you to India. I was 19 years old and as discontent with my condition as any reasonable 19 year old can be. And um, um, I left to India, you know, thinking of sadhus and mystics, but I really fell in love with contemporary India, with the fact that India was a contemporary country with a completely alternative narrative to the one that I knew from living in Europe. And when you say an alternative narrative, what do you, what do you mean? Just all the parameters, parameters seemed others you know and, and on the other end there were also parallel realities that I could compare to the one I knew but somehow they I could take them a little more lightly. <laughs> when we look at some of the images uh, that are being shown now I think what is it 108 paintings altogether yes. tell us what inspired this particular collection. Well the number 108 is the number of the beads in the prayer uh, rosary that one uses in the Buddhist and Hindu tradition. And um, one of the ways one can look at paintings is it is as a contemplative practice, as a mm. practice that uh, for once in our over, you know, controlled world is not a prescriptive, a prescriptive practice, but a descriptive practice. So I hear you, I live you, in a world of running orders and set piece events exactly. as well. Exactly, so the role of a painter can't can be to remind everyone that maybe just by describing reality without modifying it, one can make a contribution, you know, to another narrative that then the narrative you are familiar with from this particular Some of the spot. images here, it strikes me they are, they are very imaginative, contemplative, gentle, and it's important to you that they're watercolor. Well, the, in a way, one of the most well-known statements from the Hindu tradition is that there is no, the lotus grows from the mud. So in all of the images that I deal with, there is a conflict is there, but there is also the joy that can arise from a conflictual situation when that one is put aside, you know. And what was it like working with the miniaturists, these very specialist painters, craftspeople? You have some of these tiny little figures in your broader canvases. You know, the wonderful thing about painting is that there is always, there is always an, another element that kicks in that you did not predict. In this case, I found out that by uh, placing this, this uh, miniature painters in an unfamiliar situation, they would in a way rediscover the freshness of their craft. And um, they're very respectful of what I do because the uh, part of their process is always to draw everything first with a pencil. Mm. And so for them to see a painter like me who does not draw first, I just directly paint, they consider so me you sort of their eyes as well, yes. or shocked <laughs> they're, they're, they're shocked. They cannot, they, they really, and they're very respectful of, of the skill. Uh, no. Just as I'm respectful of their it, extraordinary skill. I mean, it's an extraordinary skill. synthesis of, of their very traditional work and, and what you do. I must ask you, Francesco, though, do you, as an Italian by birth, do you still feel there is an Italian strain? What do you bring to your painting from the Italian side of you? Yeah, it's like a chain. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle, you know, the power of the great past and so on. I ran oh, away oh, from the, Italy. The European art I ran away from Italy at age 19. I, I had to get away to be able to make peace with this great tradition and with the fact that, you know, we don't really know what this great tradition is about, you know. We have to live it again to know You it. wanted to be free to reinvent, didn't you? Yes. I, I thought that if anyone in Italy actually could see these Renaissance buildings, they would not behave the way they were behaving. <laughs> and what about the next generation, Rio Do you, I think you have four children, is that right? Do you, do you, are any of them artists have, following your footsteps? I have granddaughters too, so apparently it skips a generation, so I think we have to wait for the granddaughters for some other artists. But so all, my, all my children are creative in their own way, yeah. And it's interesting because a lot of what you talk about and, and um, the thrust of the exhibition is about imagination. 
about yes. giving you free reign and thinking about yes. what is our imagination. Imagination as something distinct from fantasy. To me, imagination is not some arbitrary, self-indulgent, frivolous thing. Imagination is a way to collect with a real need, with really the basic structure of, of our self. And what, you know, is not, the most important question that we never ask is, is what is worth knowing? Everyone wants to know, no, no, but is it really like that? Does one need to know? Or what, what is it that you need to know? We're going to leave on that open question. It's not one you can answer in a news <laughs> bite or a news interview. Francesco Clementi, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. having me.